All right, we are here tonight for the first time at Hallow Scream at SeaWorld. So come along with us as we experience all of the scare zones and houses for the first time. Also, we are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. So if you could please hit that subscribe button, we would really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so we have just made our way into the front part of the event. We walked through the carnival scare zone um, and there were people coming at us from all angles. They have a ton of the people that like run and scrape their knees on the ground and it's definitely a lot different than Universal. I feel like they have more unexpected scares. Like at, right as we were walking in, they had this huge like air cannon that was really loud and sprayed fog at me and it scared me and then uh, a second ago I was walking and I thought Brian was right next to me and I turned and there was like a fish person standing next to me. So, um, so far it's the crowds aren't bad and we're getting lots of scares. So let's keep going.
descending the delirium research facility. All right, so we made it through four of the houses, not all five because the lines were moving very slow. Very slow. The first house we did was Dead Vines. Um, it had a cool scene at the beginning where you're walking through a greenhouse. There's a lot of like a bayou feel to it. Lots of things hanging down from the ceiling. I feel like in all of the houses there was dead space where there were just no actors. Also, a lot of the houses are very, very dark. Yeah. We also did Captain's Revenge, which had horrible music in the queue. <laughs> <laughs> yes, pure hell. Um, but it did have some cool uh, like sets inside. So I think that may be the one like visually I enjoyed the most because of the sets. Right, and there's a part where you like go through a grotto, and there's supposed to be mermaids in there. But once again, it's so dark in there that you almost can't see everything that's happening in there. Yeah. Did. Then we did beneath the ice, mm -hmm. which was a really long house. Yeah, it was. Again, lots of empty space. And uh, I think you said that a lot of the houses utilize different sound effects as their scares versus more scare actors like Halloween Horror Nights. They're like, they're using a lot of practical sound to scare you. Whereas at Universal, there's a lot of recorded sound. I think my favorite thing from this event is probably the scare zones. The scare actors are all over the place, interacting with you, getting very close yeah. to you. Talking and, to you. <laughs> uh, more aggressive. Yeah, in a good way. <laughs> the last house we did was the... Oh, Delirium 666. And it has this pre-show in it, but the pre-show made the line move extremely slow. Yeah, that was the longest wait, and the line wasn't that long, but we waited so long because of how they were filtering people into the pre-show. But once we got in there, it was a cool experience. It was the most interactive house that we went through yeah. of the night. I think, so ultimately, SeaWorld Hello Scream, should you do it? I think if you do the express pass, it might be worth it. There was like no one in the You're just express lines. You're yeah. just walking on. But I mean, the event starts at seven. You can get in at 6.30, you wait in the first scare zone. And there was no way that we could do all five houses 
as well as see the scare zones and whatnot. And the shows, there's shows there too. There shows. And food and drinks. And so, yeah, I think that you either have to plan to come multiple nights or get the express so that you can just zip through the houses and get everything done. Most of the houses are kind of, I mean, they are not Halloween Horror Nights houses, um, which yeah. we know we knew that. Yeah. But should you do it? It's up to you. I don't know if we'll do it again, but it was yeah, still... Yeah, that's our, that's our first impression of Hallow Scream. <laughs> so thanks for joining us tonight and we hope to see you next time. We're going to go to bed now. What else do you want me to say?